Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with another episode and this one's another one of the tech travel bag guide. Slightly twisted though. You guys have asked for this a ton over on social, maybe even especially after my Apple Watch to Nike edition review. This is all about what I bring to the gym, my tech travel bag guide, gym series, gym related to get the guns, I guess. <laughs> so obviously when you go to the gym, you're not gonna be carrying around a laptop. I hope don't be that person. If that is you though, whatever floats your boat, maybe you're watching a fitness related video, P90X sort of thing. So not too much flack, just focus on the workout, not the tablet or iPad. To me, it's all about three different items. The first being the smartphone, second being the headphones to listen to the music, and the third, maybe this one's optional, is the activity tracker or fitness band that you'll use in conjunction with the rest of the tech. And as per usual, you can win one random item that you see in today's episode. Just follow all of the info down below in the description and make sure you leave a comment of either A, which item you really liked, or B, some of the gym tech stuff that you like to bring when you're working out. So very first off, we will start things off with the smartphones and my daily drivers of choice are the iPhone 7 Plus. I'm currently rocking this in the black colorway, dual camera, battery life will last me the entire day. Having the 7 Plus, I don't need to worry about charging the phone. I usually hit the gym around 8 to 9 p.m. on weekdays and that's when I find the iPhone 7 tends to die and I never really charge my phone at work. So the 7 Plus just works for me, just because of the battery life. Not gonna talk about the size too much. And the next one, which I will mention, is currently a review in process, so make sure you stay posted. This is, of course, the Pixel XL. Absolutely love this phone. Once again, it competes with the iPhone 7 Plus. So same kind of features, five and a half inch screen, awesome battery life and expect this review to be dropping very shortly. So make sure you guys stay posted for that. So the first band, it's a bit older. It's the Nike Fuel Band. I think I've had this for two to three years. I kind of wear it on and off. It's a bit cheaper. I think you can grab one now for 125, 150 bucks, depending on which model slash colorway that you get. It doesn't do anything crazy like track or monitor heart rate, track GPS, doesn't really track your runs too well. But if you need a simple band that just motivates you a bit to get that fuel, the Nike Fuel that you get on a daily basis, this could be for you and it's very simple but it works, just like most things that you'll see. If you're looking for an all-in-one activity tracker that is not only waterproof, tracks heart rate, GPS, can track all of your runs, give you pretty much up-to-date status on all things fitness related, if you've got an extra little bit of money to burn, this is around 370 bucks, this guy might be for you. And what I've stated before, my favorite feature on this guy is actually the band, and you can probably buy these separately. It's perforated, so it's perfect perfect perforated. I'm pretty sure that you can buy these bands separately. Someone let me know in the comments and I've seen a ton of knockoff ones that are way cheaper. So I'll leave both of those linked down below in the description. We will switch things over to the third item, which are headphones. And I will kick this off with my guilty tech pleasure. I won't even lie. These are just the standard ear pods that come with any Apple product or any Apple iPhone, I should say. Keep these ones in mind. They're not terrible but not the greatest either. Next on the list are a pair of wireless earbuds. These are the Skull Candy Inked. Since they're wireless, you don't need to worry about any cables hanging anywhere. The sound quality is pretty decent and they're not too expensive. And I've actually recommended these to a ton of friends. They seem to like them. And they also come in a ton of different other colorways to suit whatever style game you're trying to rock at the gym. Next on the list, if you want to up your audio experience in the gym, these are the Sony H. Ears, and one of my favorite colorways, this really sweet teal color. These come both in the wired and wireless versions, but in terms of sound quality, they sound awesome. They've got a nice kick of bass, isn't anything too heavy or crazy though, and not to mention, they're not the most expensive pair of headphones, and they sound great for the money that you're spending. Headphone set number three, which have currently been my go-to when I'm traveling. I've also recently been using these at the gym as they are wireless. These are the Bose QC35s, and they are the best sound canceling headphones that you'll need. Now you don't need to listen to that guy over in the corner that's either grunting, throwing weights around, or other unnecessary distractions at the gym, you can focus on your workout and tune everything else out. 
And all of that tech that you see fits nicely into this little pack here, and this is called the Air Sling. I reviewed Air products before. They're one of my favorite pack companies. They've got no branding. They now come in two colorways, just the standard black as well as gray. They've got super high quality zippers with rubber liners, which means water won't get in. And when you're looking at this pack, all of your tech essentials can fit into the main compartment. They've got this smaller compartment at the front with that draw zipper that can fit your wallet, maybe even your phone. And at the bottom is my favorite part. They've actually got this secret little shoe compartment to fit your kicks since those get kind of smelly and you don't want that mixing in with all of your tech. And to round everything out, I'm gonna throw in a pair of sneakers because why not? A lot of you were asking if I could show off my sneaker game. These are the current pair that I'm rocking to the gym. These are a pair of Ultra Boost Uncaged. I prefer the uncaged version to the gym and I'm not gonna talk about aesthetics. I think these look decent, but the main thing here is this is the comfiest shoe that you'll ever wear. The boost feels like you're walking on clouds. This entire upper part is made of prime knit, so it feels like you're wearing a really tight sock. You haven't tried a pair of ultra boosts. Oh my goodness. This will feel like you're walking on clouds and you'll never want to wear another pair of shoes again. Anyways, that will wrap up my entire tech travel bag guide, gym edition. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comments and let me know what gear you like to bring to the gym. Just remember you can win a random item from today and I promise you it will not be the Apple EarPods. That would be a pretty cruel move, especially if you didn't have an iPhone 7, but I promise it won't be those. It will be another item. Just be sure to check that link in the description. Smash that like button. Keep on being awesome, and I will catch the rest of you in either one of my next episodes or in one of my vlogs. Peace.